What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another Derby Day pack review. Today we've got the Roma Derby, which is a Lazio and AS Roma. So there's a couple of good players in this, right? There is one absolute monster for the Lazio pack, and then there's absolute beasts for the Roma pack, if you train them right, right? Obviously, the game has changed quite a bit. The standard players of these players are really well balanced against these guys. I'm going to show you that. But we are going to start with the Lazio pack, which is um, four players. You've got Savic, you've got Immobile, you've got Luis Alberto, and you've got Romanelli. Romanoli, um, I'll get killed for pronouncing him, him wrong, Romanoli. So yeah, there's some good players in this, lads. Obviously 100 coins if you are looking to spin. You get three chances at eight players, so it's split between the two. The first part of this video is going to be um, Lazio, which we're going to get into right now. So we're going to kick off with Savage. This guy is a, is a center midfielder, right-footed center midfielder. He's got some fairly good player stats. He's got unwavering form. All of these players are on C form this week, which is a bit of a pity. Um, I think the only one that's on B form is uh, Romanoli, who is at the end of this pack, which we'll get to in a second. But uh, Savage has got some in like incredible stats and player skills that link up quite well. Uh, obviously, the first one that you want to look at that is key in how we train this guy and why we're going to train him the way we train him um, is the one-touch pass, right? So we do have one-touch pass with this card. We also have 32 levels to go. So when we go over to eFootball DB, I would say that there's kind of a base of how you should train him um, depending on any play style that you have, right? I think on how you want to actually train up your center midfielders now with the way the game has gone, right? I will be doing a video. I see a lot of people talking about it now, um, but it's something that I kind of mentioned after the first day of E2.4 and testing out a lot of stuff. They seem to be balancing the players a lot better now with the tight possession and the dribbling stats, right? They've kind of gone away from like having players with good physical stats and strength stats that are in the strength column here, such as speed, acceleration, physical contact, balance. And they've started to put them in, you know, attacking players have higher attacking stats and then defensive players have higher defensive stats and they're more balanced, right? So this is obviously in view of how V2.4 has changed slightly with the, with the uh, style of gameplay that's there at the moment, right? So when we have Savage here, we're going to have 10 points left over. This is the guy that I would put in, right? So obviously he's a center midfielder. He's going to have a lot of stats that bring up his overall, such as defensive stats and all that, right? If Even if we boost up his defensive stats, you're going to get a whole two uh, overall, like to that with 10 points there. It's the same with aerial strength. We'll only get one there. Um, and obviously, you know, we don't need this guy to be defensive minded because we're not going to be playing him as a box-to-box -box or a destroyer or somebody that's going to be winning a lot of the ball back, right? So his aggression and his defensive engagement as an AMF is going to be more than enough to actually, you know, have him in our in, in the pitch, right? We don't really want to be kind of messing around with him. You know, if we want somebody like to win the ball back for us, we can get Goretzka and somebody like that. And there's a few players like this, right? So I think the strengths lie for him in his dribbling and his passing. Now, we don't need to worry too much about the passing in my opinion, if we've got this one-touch pass, right? I think that, you know, anything over 85 is enough with the one-touch pass in there. So I would say, you know, put two into shooting just to get the curl up and the finishing up a little bit. If you are playing him as an AMF, you will be able to pot in a couple of goals if you get a few rebounds. I get a lot of goals with Pedri if I'm playing him AMF or uh, Simmons if I'm playing him AMF, where I just get the ball on the edge of the box and I'm able to kind of walk in and finesse shot or curl shot around the keeper uh, from corners or from interceptions. So you do need to have his finishing over 72 or three, um, which ties in lovely with the curl. The curl will also help out with the passing, uh, but obviously the passing is a bit crazy at the moment, so that's something to think about, right? But yeah, eight into passing, dribbling, and dexterity. That brings our acceleration up to 73, but also our offensive awareness and balance up as high as we probably want to go as well. I would pr probably go one more into dexterity there to bring his balance up to 75 and the acceleration up to 74. We don't need to worry too much because we're playing him as a CMF uh, or as an AMF or an attack in CMF. We don't actually need to worry too much about his speed. So I would say that 75 speed and 83 stamina is more than enough. We've still got the 81 kicking power. And then I would be looking at pumping up the rest of them, right? So then you can start to boost up if you are playing him in that attack and midfielder role. You can have a player that has 75 speed, 75 acceleration, physical contact 79, and then ball control 95, low pass 87. That is an insane card, lads, with one touch pass, long range shooting, knuckle shot, heading, rising shots. 
and some dribble stats as well. So he's a very interesting choice for me. If I do get him, I will be testing him out a lot on live streams and stuff. Next up, we've got Immobile. I think the only saving grace for Immobile, lads, is the fact that he has one touch pass, he's a goal poacher, and he's got first time shot. Other than that, this card, in my opinion, is one of the weakest of the packs. Like, I just wouldn't even bother training him up, even to test him out properly if I got him. Um, he goes to a 93, 94 overall, depending on how you train him. But yeah, being 100% honest, lads, 88 offensive awareness with 88 finishing and 80 acceleration. It's not the worst stats in the world, but I just don't, I just don't see... Um, I've played with Immobile, man. I've played with him a lot. Like, I've played with the standard version of him. I played with this version of him, the great finishers. He just doesn't do it for me, ever. Like, he's never in the right position. I just can't play with him. Maybe it's something like Salah and Son. I'm just not able to play with him that well. We've also got Luis Alberto. Now, this guy, lads, has the potential to be an absolute monster. His standard card is quite decent as well. They had a player of the week card, which was really good. But I think that this card actually is probably better with how you train him up, right? If you look at this player of the week card that they released, right? You can see kind of where they were going with this um, with a view for the new kind of balancing with the game, right? 90 low pass and lofted pass, 93 ball control and 91 dribbling with 75 acceleration. We are going to be playing him as an AMF but he has got everything that you could possibly want, right? So we're going to replicate that and train him up as best as we possibly can. Now, as I've said before, lads, right? Don't worry about overall um, stats, right? If we look at this player and we're playing him as an AMF, we get an 89 overall card here with these stats, right? But if we, because of his position, if we pump these into um, defending, we're going to get that up to a 90. So it's like, oh, a 90 overall is going to be better than an 89. Not necessarily, right? Now, I do think that 90 low pass wit one touch pass is probably overkill um i would even if it was me i would probably go with that i would probably pump four into that and then as well as that i would probably put only six into finishing to keep that at 75 you are not going to get a lot of chances with an amf unless you're playing very 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 central um if you are playing quick counter even you know that you're going to be you know scoring a lot of cutbacks and simple tappings that you don't need to put in that many points now to shooting in my opinion now as i said lads look if you want to give yourself that 90 low pass you can do that but i genuinely think that this version of him could be super 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 monstrous here because you're highlighting everywhere that you need you have a couple of discrepancies with him right so if we are playing him as an amf we don't need the speed and the acceleration as high as we normally would with players like this but we still need to have a little pep in his step right so we could boost up his speed stamina acceleration and kick and power and balance if we want to do that but i genuinely think let's leave the speed you don't need to speed that much and i would probably pump in the rest into dribbling and that and then obviously you can pump one more into passing if you wanted to do that you've got a classic number 10 with heel trick long range shooting marseille turn all dribbling and, and shooting stats and then you've also got the passing stats weighted pass true pass and one touch pass there is different ways to train him up I might do and I will do a proper review on this guy because he's a very intriguing player. He's got insane stats. He handles brilliantly on the pitch. But I do think with the way that V2.4 is gone at the moment, people are sleeping on tight possession and draw and ball control for when they're actually playing. Um, and I'm going to be doing a video on that where I'll go into a few more details. And then to round off the Lazio pack, we have Romagnoli. Romagnoli, Romagnoli. Um, this guy has got every player stat you could or skill and stat you could possibly want for a defender. He's not the tallest, but he does play with a play style extra front man. They've kind of nerfed this a little bit um, that the players don't kind of handle as well as they used to before. But I mean, you can't really go wrong with 85 head, um, 86 jump, 84 physical contact, 85 tackling, 88 aggression, 87 defensive engagement and 91 defensive awareness. With all the stats that he has, throw in 70 speed and 76 uh, stamina with 70 ball control. It is pretty decent. So that is it for me, lads. Obviously, the two picks for me are the two center midfielders. Now, look, if you wanted to go the opposite route where you don't really want to play him, you want to play him as a CMF and a very decent CMF. I mean, you can take these stats down a good bit and you can throw up the defense a little bit uh, more than I would probably recommend. And you will still get a beast there with 83 aggression and defensive engagement. But I just think there's better players out there. You know, I think highlight the, the, the kind of the the big stats that make them stand out massively that is kind of where i would go with v2.4 training guides now so that is it for me lads i'll be back quite soon with the roma selection the four players of that we'll go into it in depth let me know any feedback and i will talk to you in a bit